Freaky Table is brought to you by Nikki Hits Beauty Studio, Bona Musadi, Duala, and Jungle Hawk, Boya. <laughs> All right. Hi, guys, and welcome to Freaky Table. My name is Joan Gumba. I have Yana and Kwa joining me in the building. But joining us in the house is one man you all perhaps know or not know so well, but we are here and happy to have him with us. But we have something to really say. The growth of the entertainment industry in any country doesn't just depend on musicians, actors, comedians, fashion designers, or even social media influencers. We also have heavy investors and promoters and one of those persons who have dedicated his life and career in building our own industry here in Cameroon is joining us in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Gelam Dixon, a.k.a. The Godfather, a.k.a. Colonel. Not in the ministry. <laughs> I, was going to, I was going to ask that, like, that name, that name, Colonel, like, when you hear it. So it's like, pronounce it in English. Colonel. Or colon I mean, like, I people say colonel. That force, it's a force, but you understand now. When you say colonel, it's like, I, you know, yeah, colonel. <laughs> Gives you weight, right? You have to pronounce all the slams. Yeah, each and every one is very important. No word left untouched. <laughs> colonel, it's nice to have you here. Thank you so much for coming on short notice. It's so good to have you. I'm honored. Yes. And we heard that you were hosting Ukwa in your house and spoiled the guy. If I could, he didn't want to even go. Yeah, they did that to me in Nigeria. So you tell it to me. Hey, don't call him. See, I'm like, I'm so busy. So I'm so busy. They had all the embers and everything, and here he could not give us. When you go, when you go to Nigeria, the Nigerians treat you with care. It means when they come here, let us pay them back exactly. in their coins. Yes, exactly. they don't discriminate. They are so open. Take you everywhere. Show you everywhere. Mm -hmm. First of a kind that I sat in my house and uh, I saw an invitation that uh, that was last year. I has to I have to go to Muzun Center in Lagos mm -hmm. and somebody will pick me from the airport for uh, an entertainment night. That was a night of comedy. Mm -hmm. I took my flight, went to Lagos. I was picked up from the airport, went to the Muzun Center in Lagos. I saw a lot of comedians. I said, but why this? And I said, no. Uh, somebody told us you are the godfather in the Cameroon entertainment industry, I want to bring you to our world so that when you see our performance, you can take us back to Cameroon. So I was treated like a king. Everybody wanted to take pictures with me, but get a CV. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good for so long you've been supporting, in fact, the pioneer people to help the entertainment industry build it at least to the level where we have it now. And you're still, you've not, you've not given up. You're still supporting, promoting, you know, in any form that you can. Why is that? Why did you dedicate your life to do that? Okay. The person who really initiated me into the industry was uh, Agbo Gibet. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's, a, it's an initiation because, because I, I was just a playboy. I was that kind of rich man that was enjoying his life. And Gibet said, Pa, why don't you come into the industry? You can, like, I said, no, I don't want to invest into anything like movie because our market is still too low. But, but I, I will be giving my support as time, yeah. So, Gibbet started the first project that was um, before the sunrise. Yeah. I gave him the support that I could give. It, it could not be financial, but it could be material. It could be yeah. my presence. And then I had to tell people that our industry has started. Mm -hmm. Because I think after Gibbet, a lot of projects came up because that was that was the, that was the kickoff. That was the airport. The airport of although before we had some movies like uh, Trial of Passion that were, we had them on CRTV, but it was not like an entertainment was just a documentary or a film sponsored by the Cameroon government. Yeah. But that period, Gibe had to go higher, mm -hmm. brought a francophone, Jean-Pierre Esome, yeah. into the industry, went to Nigeria, brought Zach Oji, Dakore, oh. Olu Jacob, yeah. the cameraman, NG1. It means I, I saw our, our youth, because we are not working for ourselves, we are working for a future generation. So either we are part of building this generation or we destroy them. So the, the, the thing is on our hands. Now we decide now we saw one kid will picking them. Yes. Because once you cross 50 years, I have done that. It means I'm going extra, I'm working extra time. Mm -hmm. Anytime I can just <laughs> see my book and kick it, you understand? So what is your legacy? What have you left behind as a legacy that people can carry? So, and then me getting into entertainment has to attract a lot of um, other businessmen 
Although some people were coming with their own ideas, they know that girls are involved there. But that girls, are, because when they see you, they say, but you don't give me the girl. No, but that is not our reason. We don't do sex tourism in Cameroon. We, so getting there, people, people start coming like the guy who did a blood of wine, my, my small friend, Harry, because I was involved in entertainment, when, the, when I proposed that project, he called me from Brazil, Pa, I said, why are you calling him my team? Pana, you wonder what they film people that team. I want to know whether I put money. I said, go ahead. And he did blood or wine. You understand? It means if you go and you don't burn bridges, other people will come there and cross and then maybe get other investors. I mean, you, you mentioned um, a word, the analogy of the um, airport, of Ewagibe uh, creating an airport. And I remember um, way back, residence colors like the hub of entertainment, a lot of hosting of events, mm -hmm. premieres, you know, comedy, comedy night. night and all of that. It's almost like what Mount Hotel is right now for our industry. I mean, and it sort of feels like an airport that has, a lot of projects are taking off from there. Mm -hmm. Then, Residence Carlos, I would describe as it's a character yeah. in Cameroon a movie evolution. You understand? Yeah, like, yeah it's, 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 like, it's like how you have the, the, Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower in every French movie, talking about romance, and you have the, 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 the Residence Carlos. So, I mean, you, you, why I did that because our Cameroon government does not want to valorize cinema. We have filmmakers abroad, like in America, who did not go to university. But because of their fame, because of their uh, celebrity status, they have employed PhD holders to work for them. So if our government can valorize cinema, I, I did that because I discovered that the, the film industry was just like an orphan in, around my vicinity. People don't want to give them premises to, 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 to use. People don't want them to circulate among them. I don't want me there, people. I remember I have a, a close friend, when they went to shoot in his house, was calling me, but one day people, they mean they know she don't for them a long, long chair for follow. <laughs> You very see, bad. yes. Very they were saying, I mean, they should not. They were even shooting in a location here in Boya. Yeah. And the man had to call them that, that chair, the retirement chair, nobody should sit on it. You understand? They give you, they give you props, they give you yeah. location, but they pull it from behind because yeah. they don't know what is cinema. Yeah. You understand? They don't know how to valorize it. So I, am, I, I became the Robin Hood of the industry mm -hmm. that I can take from my friends or take from what I have and then give it to the industry yeah. because I wanted them to grow. And I can list a lot of people who passed, who, who, who came through me. Yeah, yeah, you understand. You, you understand. So uh, it's a, it was a good, I don't regret it. You understand. Even now, I, I had to remake my house three different times because they did rumble in my house. When Billy Bob came back, he did um, um, Maestro. I said, but okay, somebody might come back to shoot in this house. Let me garbage all this asset and bring it in a new one. So if somebody's coming, it should not be that same yeah, house. Yeah. It means my, my dream is always to boost the industry in my own way. Yeah. I might not have all the billions in the world, but what I give to the industry is the widow's might. Yeah. And I'm willing to give more because I can see that the industry is going now to yeah, higher height because there's a market. Yeah. Before people were asking, that on a film, they would say, they would say, I go see them. Yeah. Now, people should buy that and go to Netflix. You see our movies. Yes. You understand? So it means yeah. if we support them, they'll bring us the glory. Yeah. So, I mean, but, but when you were getting into it, I understand that uh, it wasn't really for financial gains. You, you really just, you know, it was your own way of giving back to the community, in, you know, in one way or the other. Support yeah, support, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it works here. It works here. Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm just coming tomorrow. To play. Oh, I, just, I just realized that the movie is still in the laptop. That was so little. <laughs> Why running behind this man that you still catch him and then you give him food? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Our people came and landed bill, but as you see tomorrow, sir, they can't pay you. That was all. And I said, don't run away from me. I gave you, if you can pay, you pay. But if you cannot pay, it's okay. There's no market for our movies yet. But now that the market is there, <laughs> yes. now we'll be doing the show and we'll do business. Yes. <laughs> I mean, as far as, um, I know that so many investors come into Cameroon. We had this discussion last time with Claudio Oben, um, with Diaspora Investments in Cameroon Entertainment. Um, people come and just focus on music and film. Do you think that it should expand the investment into other um, sectors of entertainment in Cameroon? Is it time for them to do Yes, I, I, I want them to invest in comedy. Although the comedians, I, I spoke to some of them that they should try to get content. Mm -hmm. Because comedy is about content. If you cannot bring content, you will not make people laugh. That's true. If I know that you repeat the same thing, I will not go for your show. Yeah. Always make sure that you That's create content. Mm -hmm. And then movie making now, I think it's business. You will see very soon Bamili people will be coming from me, from Dwala, from Machine Bopi to come and shoot one movie. Because somebody called me yesterday and asked me, Ombang, Ombang, the cinema, I come here on Netflix. I, I told him 82 million. He said, hey, 
Donc, 82 millions, <laughs> un seul cinéma. On peut combien pour tourner I say, If you use 10, 15 millions, you can. So, it means people are getting, the yeah. industry has brought some attraction. Yeah. Investors are coming. Yeah. They might be coming on the ground because only during uh, Ukwa stays in Cameroon, mm -hmm. about four other projects where people were coming to lobby that I want to use you in January. I want to use. It means people have seen the value of Cameroon cinema. Yeah, yeah. yeah people know that film, filmmakers are no more so desperate. They will not beg you for sponsorship. Mm -hmm. They will bring a project. Either you go in because and what is killing filmmakers is that they come and beg you. I beg again my project. I want me to support me. You don't support business. You either you partner with me. We share the gain and the losses. That is how it should be because there's a market now for movies. Yeah. I don't want to support you then tomorrow when you go and get your 200 or 300 million. I'll be seeing you, I'll be an audience while you'll be a celebrity. <laughs> no, let, let, let us share the, the profit and the losses. Yeah. yeah, so write a project, say, I want us to do this. Yeah. We'll, we'll come, we'll make a, a, a memorandum of understanding. We'll call a lawyer, a legal mind to sign it. We'll put the money there and then you bring me my, my balance. So you, you've been at the forefront of collaborations, especially Cameroon, Nigeria. Yeah. And yet, I'm sure that you're not oblivious to the ongoing debates and sometimes the prevailing feelings about these collaborations. You've had people like CY International and others who are like, no, these collaborations undermine the Cameroon film industry. As somebody who has been in this I bet we might not drag, we might not drag it down again for that level. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> Cameroon cinema now is just like Champion League. If you don't get foreign players, you will not have attention, you will not have followers, you will not have media. You understand? It's like that's why you see in Europe they go to Brazil, they bring players. People are not complaining because they want to sell. Somebody is putting, I cannot put 20 million in a movie and then you expect somebody to leave, somebody who does not have a face that first of all, Brian has said, you can sell or even carry to Europe to act. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, so it's not about bringing a foreigner into our industry. Yes. It's about the, the man who is putting the money to, to sell. Yes, so if you can sell, people have been doing movies without foreigners. Of course. Um, um, Fisherman Daddy, there was no, I think there was a foreigner there. But one, which one? one. And now he's shooting, and he shoot a very good movie. Yes. He used Ngano. Ngano. Ngano, there's Nabil there, there's Magasco, there's every place that can sell. Absolutely. So people should not go and be dragging producer because you scare producer now that maybe I want to go and bring a foreigner, people will criticize. Yes. Not only look at those personal hatred, because I think if you feature in a movie that has a foreigner, it's a plus because you will gain only you not only gain the, the foreign market, but you gain audience from the, 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 the followers of that foreigner. They want to know who is this guy and what is he doing in this project. It's about us taking our market to a different level, carrying it international. Somebody is doing a show and they say he has brought an MC from Nigeria. Uh, yes, and then I met him. I said, I, I like this uh, but what is the what is the idea behind it? It's a power. This is my show, I've been doing it in Cameroon. I want to lift it up <coughs> to a different platform, to international recognition. So Abuka has a lot of followers. Yeah, so if I bring him, all his followers in Nigeria want to know about no you understand? Yeah, it's somebody, that guy is putting his money. It's a Let him grow with that money. You go and take loan. He said, but I mortgage something and I had to bring this guy because I want to make more. Yeah. You understand? It's about the face that sells. It's not about who thinks or who sits on Facebook to count likes and and shares. Mm -hmm. It's about the face that said, if you sell, though, you don't need to market yourself. Let me, I posted a picture of Okwa. That picture had, uh, after two hours, it had 31,000 views. Uh, that's a video, a short video. 31,000 views. Okwa is already selling. And then people are not even talking about me in that picture. Hi, <laughs> Okwa, or Sophia. I am not in that picture. Nobody even talks about me. And when I took my hand, I went, I was selling, nobody is even talking about me. It seems like I was not even in that picture. I went when I asked somebody, I'm not, I'm not there for the picture. <laughs> You understand because he said, Yeah, see me. I did the same with Kanayo the same day. Instagram, everybody, oh, Kanayo, Kanayo. Nobody even sees the Godfather there. I'm not there because my face, I'm not selling, I'm not selling anything. So it's about taking our market to a, a, a place where we can get value in, 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 in cash in return. Yeah, because people put a lot of energy in producing movies. Look, they, they put a lot of, so even go in depth themselves. I know producers, I know producers who are still owing actors. You understand? Mm -hmm. It is not because they don't want to pay, it's because they have not sold the movies. Yeah. So now, if they have this means of bringing faces that can take their market, even they have their marketers. Nigerians have marketers who are waiting for their products. Yeah. They'll say, go and bring me that and I'll sell it. Yeah. People are doing it as business because we in Cameroon, we are still doing the show. We are, not, it's, we are just starting business. Yeah. So let this be show and business. I mean, when you have those kind of people, yeah. how do you bring them in? It could be like the, the main link or the marketer or something like the, how the Alaba market works in Nigeria. Yeah, now, now, Okwa, before he left, I took him to the airport. Uh, he told me, 
chairman, stay and control these people. If they are ready to bring me, just give me the go ahead, I will come. Mm -hmm. Negotiate with them anything we discuss. If you say, okay, I will come because of the treatment we gave him in Cameroon. Yes. It's not just about money. He's yes. building another fan base in Cameroon. Yes. Okwa has four passports that is conjoined together. Like that. He has gone to, I, I underestimated him. But when he came, I discovered that he was not only coming to Cameroon, he's international. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to be in South Africa today. It means we are not only looking at Okwa who came to Cameroon, but we are looking at Okwa who came here and then we we'll carry our movie to all the places he goes. You understand? It's a market that is being exposed to the world. So it's a brand. To, to have that kind of face in Nigeria, Nigeria has, only Lagos alone has a population of Cameroon. To have a business face in Nigeria means you have worked hard. So why not learn their secret by working with them? They will teach you, they will show you market. They say, if you want to sell this movie, this is what you will do. Even, he, said, he, he told the director of that planter plantation that I have a project in Nigeria, I want you to come and direct it. This similar story. It means our, one of our directors will be directing a movie in Nigeria. So, so I don't see any issue for, uh, with us working with um, foreigners. Yes. You understand? The issue is insecurity. We are, we are scared. Wow. Somebody is not taking our show. If you want to be a celebrity, you have to brand yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to be bankable. Mm -hmm. You have to stop blocking people on social media when they insult <laughs> you. You understand? Because insult is part of the business. Yes. Yes. If you make, people are following you, so don't make error. You understand? Yes, you. It's difficult to be a celebrity yeah. because you will run your mouth and people will capitalize on that thing. Yeah. So don't, just be you clean, you wear your white clothes like Godfather, you come <laughs> and see people. Don't insult anybody, don't block. Just, don't block. just say thank you. <laughs> Do you know that on, social media is the only place where an editor will insult a PhD yes. holder? Yes. One day I had my clean design but very rich like this, posted on social media. Somebody went and said, ah, that just was supposed to be done like that, the material is cheap. I did not answer. So they showed me that designer one day, Moliko. From that day, I went, I said, I will not even talk anybody on social media any longer because you, you don't even know people physically and they, they answer you, they insult you. Yeah. But when you see them, you, you look, as I said, that, what are you supposed to answer him? You understand? So it's a platform. And these are the people who make us grow. Yeah. The fans are the people who are carrying us to. Even if they give you negative energy, people will know you. To that negative. So don't blame so them. You use it now. Yes. So, so you can even come back and apologize that my fans, sorry, I, I, out of uh, excitement, I did this and I did that. It's affecting me and my career and affecting my fans. I apologize. Yes. Very simple. You see, they'll come back and say, okay, that's a wise one. Go. You see, all of them will gather again like, like, like small witch and witches. <laughs> you gather and start to, you understand? So, uh, I think we, we focus a lot in the discussions. I've noticed um, when we have discussions generally, usually on social media, it's the discussion is always about collaborations with Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But the way the Cameroon cinema industry is structured, it's like two separate industries, the French and the English, English industry. But I don't see this discussion because I don't see a lot of collaborations still. So why, why don't we see... Do you think that there is, all, there is also supposed to be um, a lot more collaborations with um, the French... Um, cinema, with, you know, uh, with can, uh, say CFI and, and that. First, the Francophone need to accept that we do cinema. Because even when they are watching our movies, they refer it to JVM film Nigerian. They are calling us Nigerians. That Is they, it because of the presence of Nigerians? No, it, they, they don't even want to. They don't need, yeah, the fun is that they don't want to acknowledge that we do better than them. If you watch a, a French movie, you see that they are using small. They don't, they don't value materials that are used for their movies. So when they see a good movie, they call it a film Nigerian. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, it's, it's not like a backhand compliment. Yes, that we, they don't want to accept defeat. That this is a Cameroonian. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, so yeah. so they need to come and beg us to join with them. Our our level, the English cinema is going to Hollywood and not going to to Yaounde or Duala. <laughs> yes, that that yes, we are taking it because yeah. they don't. French cinema do not have too much platform. Yeah. I want you to understand that yeah. the platform major because sixty percent of Cinema content in the world are English. It means yeah. you can collaborate with um, uh, Schwarzenegger, yeah. this and that. You understand? So now let the francophone start coming. We have francophone Lucy member. She's doing. Yeah. She, she's yeah. that person who has accepted that she can come to our zone, do a good movie like Chariot of. Uh, Chariot of God. You see, others can still come. It's not that they should be calling our movie that but JVM film Nigerian. Everything when you start to speak English on the screen, they say it's Nigeria. You understand? That's where the problem lies. Yeah. They will not acknowledge that we have people who did cinematography, people who are trained to do that, mm -hmm. people who are trained producers. In Dwala, any, just go to the studio, see everybody having a camera. Action. Okay, Chuba Tune comes out. 
Everybody, a small group of family, they will, shoot, they will tell you that I've seen my movies. So, few of them can do good movies, but the majority, they need to come and learn from our book. I mean, when you say, when you say a lot of them, are, you just find anybody in the streets doing movies. I don't know. It sort, it sort of made me think about the resources, right? Because, yeah, you don't just find anybody doing movies. You need to be organized. You need to plan for it. So, it's, in a way, do you, do you, I, can we say that they have more resources, access to more resources than we have? And because we have limited resources, it makes us think harder. They have, they have a lot because even the government favors the French, yeah. French movie industry. Yeah. The, that's the Francophones. When you see like a noir, everything is francophone. Very few anglophones go there and they have that, that uh, professional treatment. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of, like Canada, they have a lot of exposure. Mm -hmm. We don't have it. We are just like orphans. You just a poor man at the beginning, they work out very fast. <laughs> because <laughs> hungry, go make it, eat cream, go find chop. They need to put me for tricep, they put me, no, no. <laughs> yeah, bare food. Yes. We need to deal with tea, have a bomb with a cup, drink as well. Chop, we have. Uh, <laughs> colonel, Colonel, there was, uh, we're, we're, we're talking about this uh, um, English and French collaborations, so right? It's a good idea if, if they will accept that they are coming to learn because they will not come and impose. My purpose is that let them not come and say because. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they are not yet doing cinema. Yeah, yeah. Few people like uh, this guy who did um, uh, that um, Leblanc Le de Yenga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a good movie. Uh, this guy, Mutumba, they are doing good movies. When you use French, it's, it's big, as they say in French, grosso modo, and grow. Eh? Yeah. Few of them can do good movies, and they can do collab with Anglophones. Yeah. But let them leave it open that the Anglophones should deliver in their way, not in that French way. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah, so let them take Anglophones like professionals in that domain yeah. that we can come and train them, we can teach them, we can make them gain international recognition. Right, but, but there was an instance where, I, I don't know whether this was actually a rumor or there was just an outright denial for it, where, where the government was trying to merge these two industries, mm -hmm. where they were like, but for some reason, Anglophone filmmakers thought they were trying to suppress the CFI. Right at the level of the ministry, mm -hmm. they think CFI is just a small body. They don't valorize Anglophone cinema. Mm -hmm. At the level of, of the ministry, it means Camus, Anglophone cinema need to be valorized. They need to put value in it look at that, give us that facility that they give to francophones. Mm -hmm. I see people shooting in, in, in Douala with police vehicles, shooting in police area, but here they will not give you. Mm -hmm. They will tell you that no, I don't want that. They look at it as if you are, you are begging for favor, of which you are building a career. Mm -hmm. People can live, people can do business with cinema. Yes. So let, let us not look at that point that, they not, they, let them not look at anglophones like minority. Mm -hmm. If we want to measure, we are measuring as Equal. equals. Yeah. Yeah, we are bringing cinema as a common language that everybody can speak. Yeah, speaking about, you know, the common language, recently we had Canal Door and there was a massive snob there for Fisherman's Diary, which was, I mean, one of our biggest movies. And there was no Saving Bango as well nominated. How did you feel about that? That is why I say they look at us like minority and that we cannot do anything that makes sense because they don't understand English. Majority <laughs> francophones don't even know what is happening on TV. They just think that Nigerians are speaking that their language. So it is about understanding what is movie making. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Saving Bango has gone to places. Yeah. We don't need to ask their permission. Mm -hmm. We are looking at international market. If the Francophones do not want to accept us, let them stay. Mm -hmm. They will come and carry our bags while we're entering Hollywood. <laughs> that is, I'm, <laughs> this is, I'm shaking the table here. Yeah? Yes. It's about shaking. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, then calm down. Maybe we should push you. calm down. We need water. They, they are really push on until our artists are struggling to sing only in French because if you don't sing in the language, they will not valorize it. You see, most, most artists are only trying to sing now in French. You see somebody, when you just make war in English, the next thing you start to sing in French. So that you please them. They have to understand English. Let them learn, let them follow cinema, Anglophone cinema. Let them valorize it, put it on their own platform because we value them. Yeah. When we see them, we recognize them as, as filmmakers. And let the minister know that cinema is one. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's, it, cinema can reconcile two enemies. Yes. Movie making is the only thing that enemies can sit and watch like that and they embrace themselves. Mm -hmm. Last week, I went to a movie premiere, uh, Little Sam, Big Sam. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I was thrilled watching a Cameroon movie. Mm -hmm. I thought I was sitting in England mm -hmm. because from the beginning, even when that thing stopped, I saw one woman was sitting behind me, she was crying that this man, the cut lights, even that picking die for hospital. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I found myself watching reality 
it was not any kind of yeah. movie. It means Cameroonians are no more in that at that level where you'll be looking at the thing a filmmaker than that. People will pay to see us. People will pay to see our content. So, by the way, um, our our uh, director and producer, Obe, yes, yeah. Yeah, he's, the one who, he's the one behind Big Sam. Big Sam, Big Sam. Big Sam. Just so that people know that it's... Uh, that, <laughs> we are on different levels. That movie, that movie, if they don't buy it, I will buy that movie. Okay. That movie okay. has to go... Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not... Obe and Tyler House. The cast, they were perfect. 100% perfect. Yes. No, they Everybody to... was... On point. On point. The, the, everything. The, the fun is that everything was on point. I, when I stood up, I saw the whole world was happy. I said, first time to make Cameroonians happy. Yeah. Because what I did was, we did a propaganda. I proposed an iPhone 13 to drag the audience. Let them watch our movie. Because people always ask, like, where can we watch your movie? The other, when I went outside, some journalists were there. They asked me, Pa, how can we buy this movie? I said, okay, you want to buy it now? Like that? I said, no, you produce CDs and you buy them. Or you go to a platform, download. Maybe the producer is planning to put it on a pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. I said, well, why do you want to buy it? He said, because it's too long to go to the cinema. Because no one is there. No one has to be a comment. It's long to watch it. Yes. You, you, you understand? And that is what makes uh, an audience where you do a good you don't need to go and make life on Facebook to drag audience. Do something that people can see it and see your work. You understand? It's not about the number of likes you have. People like you, maybe they're planning, they're praying that you should die. People can look at your status and say, <laughs> if they set on trap and then you fell on that trap and you are dead. It's not about that, it's not that they like you. You understand? I just post some pictures, now I get 30 views. They're viewing to see if you are hungry or you are dead. <laughs> Do some work and then see the money. Transform that show into cash. We need cash. Yeah. Transform that their business into cash so that they see you. You can see your achievement, your new car, your new this. Yeah. That's All right. But Colonel, we've spoken so much about cinema, which I know you're heavily invested in it. Um, but the other sectors like fashion and... and fashion. If I talk now, I'll break the table because okay. last time I hear man argue, say, so, wear our own, wear our own, wear, wear a Chinese jean and a t-shirt. <laughs> you understand? What are you talking about? People don't... You cannot be dressing with a suit, and then you are talking about wearing our own. Me, I'm dressed, it's uh, yes. person Balawu dressed, she's a Tiko, yes. person Kuchu. Yes. I'm dressed by a Cameroonian. I mean, before you stand on a, a platform and talk about consuming your own, show the example. Let me digress a bit. When we talk about bringing Nigeria, look, look at the advantages I have with Nigeria. Most of our designers, they go to, they copy from Nigeria. Yes. Most of our um, event planner, mm -hmm. they watch movies, they watch how they set, more, you, you discover that way you go now to any baby wedding, you see that the concept is just Nigeria. We steal from them. Why not steal even the actors? Why are we looking? <laughs> we are looking only the only part that actors are coming. You understand? <laughs> makeup. We have a, I, I went to Lagos, I saw about 30 Cameroon girls I know. They said, I came to do makeup classes. Mm -hmm. So that they'll carry it back. If you can take good example from a neighbor, it's good. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 know, I, I know a couple of people, makeup artists who have gone to Nigeria. They are still there. They are still there. Some, some are doing makeup now in the Lagos. Now, yes, the of course. Yeah. Then I think, I think the, 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 the idea for them going there is also just, just to add to, to the point is about the standards, you know, the, the, the professionalism, the, the, the whole structure there. But then to the point about, yeah, it's, it's a whole industry, it's a whole industry. To the point, it, it, do you think it's, it's the proximity, the proximity factor between Cameroon and Nigeria? That's why it's easy for us to just stop. And, and, and maybe adapt in our context, or it's, it's, it's just that? Our, listen, if we, learn from, if we learn a good habit from a neighbor, I think it's preferable because we are learning. Nigeria is 200 times better than us. Mm -hmm. I want you to, uh, development-wise, entertainment, everything. So if we go there and learn their, their, their techniques and learn their skills, we will improve. Because the world is evolving. First time a cop, if you're in a small black pants where they can say Tido, get the job put on under eyes. <laughs> You understand? But now you need it. La last time before we came to that, before we came to Big Sam, Little Sam, the money took, took two hours. <laughs> These guys, they came with a gearbox, they came with cameras and lights. You understand? That's to make her well. And when she came, I said, wow, this is a different person. Yeah. It means the world is evolving. Yeah. It's not about Tido again or pencil eye. But, yes. <laughs> now, woman, you have to prepare her. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs>
Maybe come here. Do not you know? I don't know. Is that thing They have a small pencil. They don't draw you know like that. That one was makeup now. No, yeah, it was makeup back in the day. I think I would have the full and even materials to do it. So you see that we are learning good habits from them. Our industry is growing. So even. We want to do good movies now. We need to make it classy. So yeah. you have to learn all those, cl those classy yeah, so then, what, what do you think our industry has to offer to the Nigerian industry? Or to other I, I think when it comes to talents, Cameroon is a virgin land that has raw talent. Mm -hmm. You understand? Nigerians, the Nigerians have exhausted their talent. Mm -hmm. And then their stories are finished. We have a very rich culture. Mm -hmm. We have, um, I think, uh, 321 ethnic groups in Cameroon. It means we still have untold stories. So the Nigerians need to come here, get our stories, get the people that can master it and then produce it for, with us. Wow. Not that produce it for us, with us. You understand, it means we can work together. My, my, my problem is that Cameroon, in Cameroon we have more celebrities than fans. Yes. yes. People in the industry, like the young ones, should respect those who started. Let me tell you how the Nigerian industry started. You have the Pete Dochi, Stanley Ejiko Esebo, Charles Okafo, uh, Osen Obi, uh, Gloria Nozier, Zach Oji. When they started the industry, Silent Night, uh, De 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 Deadly Glamour Affair, Girls. Glamour Guest, they took that one to a different level. They came back now, they took uh, Mike Izoronyi and the others, uh, Emeka Ike and the others, they brought them to another level. It means those upcomers should allow the pioneers to stay at their level. Just because your brother has money and they give you a little in the movie does not permit you to drag, to drag a peseta down that you are comparing because you people are acting. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say, you are not yet a celebrity, you are just an upcoming. You are yeah. trying to learn the ropes. Maybe your brother will not have money to produce tomorrow. The next movie you do better, you will pass. Because, <laughs> because what I know in Cameroon is that once a producer, either a producer has money, that producer is taking a lead role. Mm -hmm. You don't even know that you are not capable of doing that lead role. Yeah. You understand? That's what kills the industry. They don't look at it as business, they look at it as a, as a, a means of showcasing themselves. You just gather people and put behind you. I bet you, you go do a uh, journey for that movie. <laughs> now me, I get the money, so I'm going to play You understand? It's not about who has the money, it's about who can deliver. So move just shake table with that angle. To me, people that want to produce, don't go and bring your cousin in the village. Emily, come and give us a little bit because this movie figure you massa. No. <laughs> you understand? So. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> give, give it. We have, we have our list A. I can count them. Yes. yes. Permit me to count them. Yes. I will not start from no other person than Puli Jeffrey, yes. Chifo Valeri, yes. Alene Menget. Yes. Alene Menget first is a multi talented. Yes. Any angle you put him, he will deliver. Yes. You have um, Libota McDonald. Yes. You have. Um, uh, no, for, for, I'm still with the men, oh. The men, I want to call the boys that I know. Yes. You have a Nibagori, I want to. Mm -hmm. there, are, there are many of them that if you bring them, those are list A people who can just, you just say action. Yes. You just look at the script and know that uh, Mr. Mr. Clark in this script, let me do that. Yes. You know, and then you have Otia Vitalis. And that, let me tell you about celebrity. I've moved with Otia Vitalis inside Yaoundé. I took him to Hilton. We ate, I called for the beer. They brought me the beer, paid. I say. Hey, who paid this bill? Somebody saw you with this actor and decided to pay a bill. Mm -hmm. Went to Chinga. We ate. I said, power chair. I said, when I come, then I know they hold me some money. <laughs> and, that, and that's what I do. When I want to drink free, I just take Ocha beside me. <laughs> Any place we eat, they pay. Any place they pay. Because he has a lot of fans, yeah. you understand? Yeah. So it's about us working as a team. Mm -hmm. Let the upcomers look at those who have been there and pay them their respect. Yeah. Producers to, should keep them in a, in a way that they will, they will know that they command respect and they still have that value. Yeah. Because you cannot call a list A actor, you gather them together with, a, with an upcomer, just dump them in a hotel. I bet when I two, when I take the room, you understand? Yeah. That person feel, that, that's yeah. where you bring them together and that person start feeling that we are at this level. Yeah. You understand? I appreciate some producers. When, when an executive producer comes with money, I want to sponsor a movie, give me an estimate. I beg, I get five Cameroon top actors who are going to launch them. This is, this one. I went to that set of, uh, this movie that was done in Yaoundé with Richard Mofe, that is on Netflix, um, yeah, yeah. Therapy. The producer was perfect. I went there. 
Alene had his room, Richard Mofe's room, Cindy Made. They, all of them were at the same class, you understand? I did not see any extras in that hotel. All those who were playing that were pass roles, they were kept somewhere. <laughs> because one celebrity is equal to another, yeah. you understand? But when you start to divide them, eh, it reduces the, 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 the yeah, you, oh, yes, you reduce that, you do, yes, the, uh, yeah, you start to traumatize this person. So, <laughs> just imagine, somebody knows that I've worked until now, I'm a celebrity in my country, and then a star come from Nigeria, you just take this man, you throw him in Carlos Hotel, take the other you throw at a mountain hotel. Then uh, they cannot even see. Example, there was one concert here, Jovi slept in my hotel, Flavor was singing in the, at the uh, stadium. Yeah, it's tough and tough, yeah. They blocked Jovi until uh, Flavor sang and went before Jovi came. Jovi said, but there's no way for me to be interact with my, my I'm sharing the stage with somebody. Yeah. And the producer of that show said, no, you have to stay here until he goes. I don't know if you, you see that they, they managed to reduce Jovi. Yeah. So it, it's not a matter of mentality. People who bring in foreigners, what do you look at? Yeah. Yeah. You understand? But there, there, um, Colonel, there's something, oh, you really touched a lot on, on this, but do you think that also um, tribalism, nepotism plays a big role in you know, pushing people away? Because there is this, always this fight. No, no you, you know that the industry yeah. is divided by small, small clique. Mm -hmm. Yes. Once you hate me, you will recruit people to come and hate me together. You understand? Mm -hmm. That's not what we are looking at. Mm -hmm. Now we are looking at productivity. If you have money to produce a movie, right let I want to advise the, the actors, especially those our lead role actors, mm -hmm. stay on your price tag. Mm -hmm. If you can negotiate with the producer be, back the, behind the door, but maintain your personality as a celebrity. Mm -hmm. Don't reduce your value because you are begging for a project. You understand? Because today you are up, tomorrow you drag yourself and go down and you are doing work apart in the movie because you must feature in that movie. No. Stay there if there's no project for you, a project will meet you. Once you have that price tag, the market will come for you. You understand? And then about tribalism, you see like uh, this movie that has been done uh, in Tico, The Planters Plantation, mm -hmm. it's, it's uh, produced by Young Esteem. Mm -hmm. Young Esteem belongs to a house they call the Rufina House. It's a group of actors that have been working together before Young will cast somebody, it means you first of all cast all the characters of Rufina House, except there's no space eh? mm -hmm. for you, then they will leave you behind, but you must come in. Then now when he's done casting his Rufina House members, you pick people from outside and put inside. Mm -hmm. And then when this Rufina House, they come, say the one can shoot, if they put your name down for granted, you don't get frontal headache. Let me say, <laughs> you know, it means you must work out the way they want, you must move, and, because there are a team of people who on the, I, 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 we did tenacity with them. I was a cast in tenacity. Mm -hmm. Tenacity was just Rufina House versus me and Alene because we're the only people who were not part of Rufina House. Mm -hmm. They are so perfect. They deliver very well, but don't temper with them. They'll boycott you. you. They'll move you up. You know, if you're actually with somebody, that person needs to queue to enter character. Yeah. When well, you see them start behaving funny, just beg them, please, I'm sorry, because it's a, it's a group of persons. It means the industry has small, small groups. People that understand themselves, they can do anything without money. It means I can have my come and take this role for me. I don't have money. I'll pay, yeah, yeah, I'll pay for your costume. I'll pay for your makeup. But yeah. Just do it for me. You are my friend. It means the industry has a small, small group of friends that can join together and initiate a project. It's not about tribalism. Yeah. You understand? Where does structure come in play? How do you see that happening in terms of making sure that it's not then it's it, making sure that the, the, the system right enables younger younger artists to grow and also push the industry further okay you see before we're doing show now is business yes if you think you value your money and you want returns and you want profit for that money <coughs> go for the right right person don't look at whether i belong to this house or not you understand it's about you putting your money where the money will come back yeah. 10 times fold that, that's what i was like like people before people were just doing it for fun that i'm an actor if you go to Moliko, 80% of the, the first year who just came this year, they are video vixen. Yeah. They just initiate them. Somebody will sing, doing video with a telephone. Now they are celebrity, but the artist is not a celebrity. You, the video vixen, are already a celebrity. <laughs> you understand? It, it's about getting a value for what you want to do. You understand? Go to the right place. Get a director. Say, please, I want you to do an audition and give me this movie. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give you people who act in the movie. Because most people who have movies, they'll tell you that, I'll give you some my brother for Batibo, I'll give you some with the Kumon Bengui. You understand? It's about, people don't look at, they don't do movies as if it's business. They do it as yeah. a, hobby. a hobby. They just want to put something in, 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 in social media. You understand? Now, let us put our cinema to international level by getting the right persons to do the right 
job for us. GOPs, makeup, everything should be right. You understand? People who can do it. This um, set design, you understand? Set design counts a lot. Somebody who can build a set, somebody who can transform a house and make it, you understand? But people will not mind. You, you will not be. And then, imagine me acting a movie and Jeff is my father. You see that there's no. Jeff can never be my father now. So you, you, will, not, you will not touch the, the audience. Yeah. So put the right person, get somebody who is older than Jeff. Yeah. So any of you are watching them, I said one woman was crying behind me because she was so emotional. Mm -hmm. It was fact. Yeah. You understand? So, so it's about you getting the right person, not because of your relationship with somebody. Yeah. yeah. Right. I think, I think that we've touched a lot. And apparently, um, you still remain our godfather. You keep supporting, you keep investing, you keep sharing any form that and you also act in some of the movies which is great. yeah that was when i had a lot of time i was free that time mm -hmm. now i'm old and then i need eight so hours you can of, just be jeffrey's father in the film uh, yeah. I, I need eight hours of rest every day also we're saying that because we are also upcoming celebrities maybe we should come home you know to invite us to quiet treatment you're not upcoming okay I, i'll be a fan <laughs> I, i'll be i'll be following you without even knowing you you understand i'll be a fan it means if you even come to my play i'll do red carpet that day <laughs> You, you see Caro, one woman saw Caro, yeah. um, Lilian Beng. The other day she saw Lilian, yeah. people, and she was inside a taxi, she was crying. Well, we'll be members now, the girl, I like the girl. The girl, I don't can't get with the you need to take nonsense. You understand that? You, you understand that? Uh -huh. you, you so it means do something that people, me, I've been longing to see you. I've never met you in person, but when you do things that empower youth or impact them, yeah. this. Freaky table, what, what we are doing here. We need this in Cameroon for people to come out and talk. Yeah. I don't put my address. My one bit me make come from my door. I did it. Yeah, I did it. You understand? Make, I don't talk my truth. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. And then there's one thing. Listen, let us not let us see look at the bundles of entertainment. I want to tell you how this industry is. People took, you only look at my own part that I put residence calls for the industry. Somebody like Agbo Gibet. Let me just say it openly. That guy, Gibbet stayed with me for two years in the same house. All his dream was to get an industry in Cameroon. Go here, meet this one, open this door, open this one. So you see a lot of people in the industry, they don't even know the airport where they took off. You understand? Those are people who managed to bring Cameroon into entertainment. Entertainment was there, but there was nobody who had that courage. Yes. If Gibbet tried to lobby to bring you, uh, oh God, I beg of my brothers for Cameroon, they want you. As you just try to be rude, he called it. Uh, did you ever fought with Jim Ike in Limbe? Mm -hmm. Because he was trying to make sure that Jim Ike doesn't reduce a Cameroonian to nothing. Yeah. You understand? So when, when you see this upcoming, it, it, there's time that we have to hold like a talk show, a seminar to educate, educate them that you doing one movie or featuring in a movie having a lead role that is sponsored by a family member <laughs> does not give you the audacity to reduce somebody who has worked yeah. as a caterpillar in that industry to Bordeaux, a road yeah. that you are passing through. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So people, I, I, can, I can have the asset to put in the industry, but where did this idea come from? Yeah. It came from somebody yeah. who has that same dream to build an industry. We have received Olu Jacob, Zach OG, Emma Yalogo, Philip uh, Amazo. A lot of Nigerians have come to Cameroon. And then like Kamif, the only the only um, festival, cinema, anglophone festival that we have is Kamif, if I'm not making any error. Mm, and then we have this uh, short film festival too that used to take place in Carlos. For some time, they have not been running. I don't know why, but Kamif is a platform where I have an idea. I propose it. A uh, major point, give respect where it is due. <coughs> and we should start treating our artists the way, or their celebrities the way they should be treated. And that's the major um, message that we've got here. Thank you so much, Colonel, for dropping by. Yana, for always a pleasure yeah. to have you guys. Yes. It, has, it has been a, 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 a <laughs> and we made this tool to meet, so exclusive on, on Freaky exactly. Table. Guys, remember to follow this discussion. It's always going to be there. And Colonel is definitely going to be there on social media to answer some of your questions we'll ask if you have them. Ask, ask and you can find him in his house in Tico. Yes. If you, My name is there. <laughs> If, if you want, you want bit me, can't make bit me. all right, it, it, will not, it will not get to that level. Yes. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Decoded TV Studios, as well as follow us on all social media platforms at Freaky Table. You can also follow Gelam Dixon 
on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys soon. Freaky Table is brought to you by Nikki Hits Beauty Studio, Bona Musadi, Duala, and Jungle Hawk, Boya. Contact Jungle Studios, which is located at Solidarity Junction, Boya, for all your photography and we videography. Thanks for watching the dopest TV show right now. And don't forget to subscribe so that you can continue seeing our beautiful face discussion. My hands off it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, and to never miss a thing, follow us on all social media platforms at Freaky Table, Instagram, Facebook, and yeah, stay tuned.